let's talk about the Bougie Kids pop-up. The stuff was coming in, the friends were yeah, coming in. Yeah, what'd you think, Melissa? Hi, ladies, welcome. Look at this. Hi. Hi. Look at you, you really came bougie. I did. You look so cute. I had to fit the part. The hanger situation. What is the hanger situation? Because hangers are a thing. Like, you need to have classy hangers or else your product looks like shit, apparently. You're not like a really sophisticated brand. Oh so God. I bought these beautiful felt hangers, blue and pink for boy and girl, did not come in time. So I had to run to Walmart and get the plastic version of it. Oh. So I, I showed up with plastic hangers, and Melissa's like, no, no, I'm going to give you nice hangers. I want you to look professional. And I was like, okay. You know, when she came in, she was a little disheveled. She had hangers that were mismatching. Oh my God. Some of the clothes were falling off the hangers. You know, I just had to like help her out. I pulled my girls in real quick. I swapped out her hangers for her. I was that like, was nice. Yes, yeah, so like I wanted it to look presentable. Mm -hmm. It's got such a beautiful boutique. She really she does. does. No, she she and nice. she sells a t shirt for a million dollars, and I'm not in that mm -hmm. range. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm like, oh wow, this is a really upscale brand. This is an upscale boutique. And it was nice. I was like, oh, huh. <sighs> You know, she invited some of her friends there, so it was like just an excuse to kind of like get everyone together. You know, I posted her on my Instagram, posted her company so that people check it out, you know. I was just trying to like help out a mom who I know wants to get into business and, and a business that's very similar to mine. You know, I'm at a level now where I'm able to do that. That's nice though. Yeah, that and it nice feels good. Like she grateful? I feel like she was grateful at the time, yes. I hate to throw shade, mm -hmm. but she took an alpha from me and never paid me for it. And literally all my friends bought Are you serious? thousands of dollars from her store. So, And I know she's going to say, well, I helped you. But in reality, she made a lot of money off of all the people that I brought into that store but that day. But did she say she was going to pay you? Like, I'm going to send you money? Or did she, no, like, she, did she say, I mean, can I have it? wasn't a lot, but... She never paid me for the outfit she got. I think she gifted me a little cute thing. She, she, I think so. I can't remember. You bought it. Uh, I did? Mm -hmm. I bought it. It was for somebody that was just born that just had a baby. It was a three-piece set. It was a gift. I have a good memory. Oh, my God. Were that's you there? right. She made that's you paid for it. Right. Yes, I, I bought something. It was like $25, I think she charged you. It was a $25 outfit. That's Were you cool. there? No, you called me. Oh. Because if she ever comes out and says, well, I did you a really big favor by putting you on Envy and putting you on my platform, Thank you. I really didn't get any sales from you promoting me. But my friends also, one friend walked out and she's like, I don't know what the just happened. I just spent $700 in the store. Mm -hmm. And she was like, I don't do this for anybody. I did you a favor. You know, favor goes two ways in this situation. Exactly. Do you think that she made out better than you? A thousand percent. Jen, you spilled the details about hooking up with James Gandolfini. James Gandolfini's body is on top of my body and it was just I was like drunk with love I became a talent agent <laughs> how many people did you really? sleep with me? really you want to pass well James Gandel beanie as a fact Jen Fessler had sex with Tony Soprano that's wild that's pretty that's an accomplishment in life nice I little mean, Jewish girl it's like definitely a bucket list thing I Tony Soprano. I mean, who's not happy about that? That's like amazing. Boss. She would get like a shirt made. I banged James Gandolfini. <laughs> I would make it say I banged Tony Soprano. Okay, that's a little bit more like legit. Yeah. He would walk into the office and it was just a ray of sunshine, which you certainly don't think of when you think of, you know, Tony Soprano. He was famous. Late right? 1990s. He had not done Sopranos. Oh. It wasn't like we were. He was bringing me home to his, meet his mom. It was like, I'll call you. Are you around? Let's go out and let's get busy. He had that sex appeal to him. Big that like, energy. He actually took me to an S&M bar. It was crazy. She had her legs over her head so far. Oh you have my like, God. I see it. Shoving mozzarella in her I mouth while like she's I doing see, them. I don't know. I could see her doing that too. That girl is, has a history. She is wild. But I see her being an absolute I her, wild animal I don't, I don't in the bedroom. I don't see her going for someone like that. I like, could totally wild. see him like <laughs> pulling her hair. I've never been to an S&M club. I'm not an S&M girl. I don't like pain. I don't want to get pain. I don't like pain. Sorry. Like, that was a crazy, wild time. People were very liberated. Money was flowing. You went places. Like, that, I mean, I wish I knew all that stuff was going on. I missed it. <laughs> I would have been on Wall Street. Happy hour, hey? Yeah. And here I am at the fucking Jersey Shore with a bunch of guidos. What was I, I thinking? No yeah, one told me. Yeah. He was so sexy. And I want to make sure I'm clear. Yeah. Like, he did not feel like that about me. Maybe if he had known that one day you'd be a friend of a house. Can you imagine? Wife, you know, everything would be different. Can you imagine? <laughs> everything is timing. <laughs> At 
at lunch in Ireland, Jennifer admits to calling Angie the night before the coffee reading. I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> how embarrassing. You witnessed Tamper. I did not witness Tamper. But she knew all the answers ahead of time. I had a caller to make sure that she had everything. I'm like, you know, they're, me and Margo, we have our little thing. We're not really getting along that well. Have you no shame? Do you not have a sense of pride? Like, you tainted a coffee reader. Are you not embarrassed? I'm like embarrassed for you. But I didn't tell her that much. Mm -hmm. The night before, I did call Angie the coffee cup reader to make sure that she had matching saucers. You know, did she want me to bring any Turkish delight? But like, I do not remember saying the word endorsement. I see people have offered you um, things or endorsements. Like that's a very specific word. Very specific. The one thing I have about Jennifer, which is kind of funny, I have secondhand embarrassment on a regular basis. It was 10 o'clock at night, and I had to so call So you possibly her. could have told her these things and with no but, recollection. But that, that could be true. Oh my. It's a weird feeling to be around someone who is like, does like such up behavior. But I guess, you know, she thinks this is okay. She thinks it's funny. She thinks it's cute. It's not cute when you're 45 years old. It's just not cute. There is nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I did talk to her. We touched on the Margaret thing. And I keep seeing the letter L. But about me saying the actual word endorsements, I think that's a little far-fetched. But I am all about accountability. She's owning it. She's oh, owning it. Jennifer will accept that. Some of these bitches should take notes. Well, Teresa well, told she, us. She asked Jennifer, I'm like, what did you tell her? She's like, I just told her me and Margaret had a fight. Nobody needed to tell us that. It was like the writing was on the wall there. It was very obvious. You think so? Yeah. Does Teresa have a tendency I was like, yeah. <laughs> Teresa accidentally sticks her foot in her mouth all the time. I mean, am I shocked she gave her up? I don't think she gave her up on purpose, but there's no way Teresa's not going to give her up. Teresa can't keep a secret. Like when he goes to the gym, he's screwing around. <gasps> Teresa will say anything. Whatever's in Teresa's head will come out her mouth. Maybe not the right way, but it'll come out. Jennifer, I think at this point, had to come clean. However, that didn't go over well after that. It was actually kind of funny now if you think about it. You f***ing tainted a witness. The evidence is there. No, no, no. No, you're not letting me finish my no, sentence. Yeah, yeah, the no, jury no. listens to all the evidence before they make a decision. Yeah, Just but you're FYI. not allowed to call the jury the night before. Why would you do that? The sad part is I'm sure Angie actually had a talent before this. And like, if she had let Angie just do her thing, like it would have been a nice day. Nobody's day would have been wasted on this nonsense. Like. She destroyed Angie's reputation because I don't know who's going to hire Angie now as a coffee reader. That's when all the endorsements really start coming your way. <laughs> it was just like really like a really stupid way to like get your way. You know, I was disappointed in Jen. I thought she was smarter than that.